Hi, I'm Tavi Gevinson. I founded and edit RookieMag.com, and we just put out our first book, Rookie Yearbook One. I'm doing a video called Ask a Teen, um, based on our Ask a Grown Man and Ask a Grown Woman videos that we do on Rookie, and I chose the want items in this week's Newsweek. So, here we go. Okay, our first question says, is it completely unreasonable to expect your significant other to obsess over you like the nameless boys in the virgin suicides? My boyfriend is like my best friend, but I have this desire to have someone steal locks of my hair and write poems about me. I mean, you deserve somebody who, you know, like, loves you and is affectionate towards you and just thinks you're the greatest. Uh, but there's definitely a difference between that and the weird obsessiveness in the virgin suicides i mean we all know how that movie ends right it says your boyfriend's like your best friend that's awesome that's like you like each other for who the other is and not for the virgin suicides reasons of just being like a teenager who is having adult feelings but dealing with them as if they are a child ask for what you want from him but don't try and model your relationship off of a movie about people who don't understand relationships. Okay, this question is from Haley, who's 16 in Washington, D.C. I was wondering if you think social media and the extent of our addiction to our phones has had a positive or a negative effect on our generation. Even if I said that they're bad, I mean, they're not going away. You can't take down the internet and you can't change the way all of these people are now accustomed to behaving. You can use the internet and social media and all of that in ways that are productive and that don't just, like, feed into, um, the crap machine. You are not obligated to, like, have a Twitter or anything, um, even though it seems like if you don't have one, you're old or something. I mean, I, I think it's messed up, yeah, that we feel like something isn't valid or it didn't happen unless we talk about it on the internet, but... You know, there, there's so much crap everywhere, <laughs> and you don't have to think about it. You don't have to involve yourself in it. Okay, this question says, As a mentor and advocate for girls' rights, I'd like to know what you need most from a mentor. I mean, I don't really go, like, mentor shopping. And I think, honestly, the, the people and the interactions and the words that have affected me most, I, I you know, and, and that have stuck with me the most, I, I wasn't expecting them to. One of our writers, Hazel, interviewed Neil deGrasse Tyson for Rookie, and he said that with role models, you kind of just, you know, find a bunch of people you like and take a few things from each of them, and, um, that, and eventually that's the person you want to be. You can't really find someone who's exactly what you need. I, th I think humans are too complicated for it to be that way. Thank you so much for watching Ask a Teen um, and for sending in your questions. I really do hope that these helps in some way. So yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs>